folks. I'm really blue. Look at me. I'm like a Smurf. Well, you're gonna be I'm your. Man. It's blue. It's blue work. Mm. <clears throat> All right. Let's. Uh, all right. You have. So, are you going to be the in charge of the the questions? I have one question, and you had another one about the name thing you emailed to you a while ago, before we started I the podcast. To you or you emailed to me? No, somebody emailed to you, and you told me about it. Here we go. Boom. Yeah. Right. yeah. So Stephanie. these are the two that we have. Sweet. All right. And then plus the we can talk about list if you want. Uh, all right. And we're gonna talk about the list. Right? The list is, is our main topic. Yeah. I have a lot of yelling at you to do. Good turn. All right. Should I move up? Because I can just put this on this Well, if chair. I look at, like, if, I, if, if, I, if we're going like this, yeah, you can move up a little bit. Straddle the mic. Yeah. Just, to, I can this hang out here and look at this you. Works. And then look we over can see here. each other. We can see each other. Oh, I'm... Are you too loud? Um... Well, this is me talking at a normal voice. This is Totes Normie. And trying not to yell at you too much. All right, here. You go now. Um. So, hi. My name's Ashley Paramore. I'm your fiance. What a pleasure to meet you this fabulous evening. And uh, I'm going to talk like this. And sometimes I talk louder. Sometimes I talk less. But I think, all right, we're good. But nonetheless, we're ready to go. butt pile. With a bedtime. Uh, let's get our shit ready. Nope. 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 Yeah. Nope. 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 Yeah. How do we do it last time? <laughs> I think you should open. Okay. Because you opened Who's the Boss? And this is basically like the Who's the Boss replacement. Okay. Just give me... Oh. <laughs> Here, stop it. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I thought you were going to have music. I know. I have to record first. And then I have to move the cursor oh, over here to start playing you music. tell me that you're starting. And then I have to point to you. Point to me and tell me when to talk. I, like, put I, your I was, finger I was more literally first. about... Like, you weren't supposed to talk yet. I was going to... God, I wish I would have left this in. Okay. Uh, here we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Jury More podcast episode number two. And this time, we're marginally more professional because we put music in the beginning. We did. We uh, we went uh, through all of heaven and earth. We moved so we could get you all music before the podcast. And don't speak for after, because we have no idea whether or not this is going to hold up. Not this, a clue. This sham could all fall apart at any second. But Nushcom's amazing, so he just made it like 
way better. Yeah. My name is Justin Robert Young. This is a podcast that is chronicling our lives as we march inevitably toward our marriage, our nuptials. Mm. In uh, on Labor I'm Day, Ashley Paramore, by the way. 2015. Will you start? You know, so like you, you okay. were supposed to say your own. All name. right. See, I need practice. Teach me how to podcast. <laughs> uh, all right. So we have, uh, you know, we're, we're making our way through this show. We, we don't quite know exactly what it was going to be, except for the fact that we wanted to do something together. And this is, you know, something we'll be able, I mean, we're going to spend the rest of our lives together. That's the whole point of this marriage thing, right? I mean, I, I guess. I mean, theoretically, you know, well, hypothetically, that's the you know, like that's that's the that's that's the the hope, right? That's the best case scenario yep. of a marriage. Dare to dream. Dare to dream. So this is going to be a good time for us to to kind of remember where we're at at this point in our lives, a very pivotal moment. But also, it's a chance for us to expand our experience to everybody else that might be going through similar stuff, or just in general, want to pepper us with relationship questions. Yes. So. Let's start uh, with our, our first segment. Um, how is this wedding going? Oh, what wedding? Oh, my goodness. So right now, we, we've come to the point in our planning. And to be fair, we've done very little planning. Did we talk about at all the planning process in the first episode? I don't think Should so. I get into no. that? A little? Yeah, we, yeah. Let's get into that a little bit. Yeah. Um, so I have been planning, as we mentioned last time, for, for a couple of months prior to it being proposed to planning yeah. the wedding yeah. and figuring out whether or not because we you're were, totally not a crazy person because i'm totally not planning a crazy out person. a wedding before you were engaged uh, whatever <laughs> um but you know making sure that things were going to work out if if we're going to do the dragon con thing if we're going to have a reception hall and all this other stuff um, but one of the pivotal things that i need to move forward in any of this need is a list of humans that we want to invite. All right. So let's get into this. Because what did I tell you was going to be our first fight about the wedding? The list. The list. Are we going to do it on air? The list is awesome. always a fight. It, it's in every time I've ever heard anybody talk about a wedding, it is always the list that is is a thing. Because this is, it. it a wedding in general is in many ways like a weird family reunion-y kind of thing, right? Like you yeah. are getting a bunch of family together, but you also get your friends to come. There's a lot of politics that goes into it, and there's a lot of butthurt feelings if somebody doesn't get invited. And that strain hits the couple because they're the ones who have to decide, well, you're not, your friend is not going to come from college or your third aunt isn't going to come. You know, like yeah. all those marginal on the bubble people. But I assume that we completely fix that by having an open wedding, a public wedding. Oh, no, right? my dear. Oh, no. Why not? Oh, no, because we are having largely, as we have discussed, yeah. kind of a wedding in three parts or yes. wedding celebrations in three parts where we mm -hmm. have the. A new hope. The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Close. Yeah. But not quite. Okay. This our second part is gonna be the best part though. Like um, like Empire. So please admit to the podcast audience that the second part's gonna be the Empire and it's gonna be the best, but except it's not gonna have a bummer ending. Unless somebody gets encased in carbonite. Oh my god, can we have somebody get encased in carbonite I'm, during the wedding? I'm sure we can work out the cosplay for that. All right. All right. It's better than a chocolate fountain. I don't want a chocolate fountain. Okay. Well, do you want in carbonite case? Sure. All right. Let's good. do it. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, I, I know what you're talking about. I'm just asking. Jesus Christ. Anyway. A list. Three-part wedding. Yeah. Our royal wedding ceremony that pretty much, you know, as long as you can get in, aside from the couple of front rows that we might have reserved. Exactly. Or front row that we might have reserved for family that's coming. For family that travels. Family and friends that, that, that are traveling out of the way. Let's, let's make sure that they get right up front. Yes. Yeah. And then we have the second part, which we're not doing a traditional reception thing. No. At all. We gave up on that because fuck that. That's expensive. Well, and also I was talking to a friend of mine before I, I showed up here today. Uh, to do the podcast that like is there anybody who's really going to be 
really clamoring for like, oh man, I want to go to a wedding like I've gone to a million weddings before. You know, like I'm really excited to do the same exact thing I always do when going to a wedding. No, no one is. They just want to spend time with the couple. They want to have a good time and they want to be there for a very special moment. We're going to deliver on that, but we got to make it a little bit worth it since both of our main camps are coming out of me, South Florida and you, Ohio. It's a little bit of a trip for both of them. We got to give a little something extra. And that's where the second part comes in. So we're doing a basically, a, I guess we could talk about this, a, a sweet party for yeah. our close friends and family following the wedding. Yeah. A little, a little meet and greet reception. Let's pop a couple bottles. Have a good time. Have some snacks. Yeah. So we'll stock a suite. Yeah. Which had to be done prior to the engagement. We had to, we had to get the suite. Yeah. Yeah, because of the way that Dragon Con's dates were. Mm -hmm. And then finally, like we want to do like some I want to do some type of food thing for them, so we're going to do like a breakfast thing. Yeah. Um but for at the very least the breakfast thing, yeah. We have to have a list of people that we know we're going to be doing it for. And that list is ultimately going to be those friends and family members that all in all, wouldn't be coming otherwise. Can I weigh my objection now? Uh. <laughs> go on. Dear listeners, I want you to please go ahead and do me a favor and hit the 30-second back button on your podcast machine right now if you would like to hear the sound of somebody who in one grunt just said the fully formed sentence, I don't know, Justin, do you want to have an actual fight on the podcast? That's what that uh, meant. Just to let everybody know, my, my sweet fiance, my bride-to-be, who is shoveling kraut into her mouth. Sour kraut. You were eating sour kraut live on the stream. That is so gross to anybody watching live. I swear to I've God, don't time. continue to do it. Put it down. We're having, all right. I don't have a problem. You have I don't, a problem. I don't think that we need to make a reservation for this place. For the breakfast. Now, I think if you called a, a place and said, hey, I'd like to put a reservation down for 40. If they took reservations, that's fine. We can we have until the event to change it from 40 to 35 or from 40 to 50. We don't need a hard list. Let's just make a call somewhere and say we got 40 coming in on Sunday morning. Why can't we just do that? We can just do that, but we need to have a general idea of who the people are that we are willing to pay for. Sure. So we need that list now so we have a decent ballpark of what we want. Because quite frankly, you have, um, by the time you start counting up those friends and family that yeah. you would invite, that number's probably going to be bigger than you think. And then we're probably going to have to whittle that down. And that ultimately is going to determine people that we invite. By the way, another reason to have a list right now is because fucking Dragon Con. All the downtown hotels are going to be pretty fairly booked up by the end of the year. Yeah, people are going to have to stay a little bit outside. But I mean, the, the majority of the people that aren't there for Dragon Con are probably going to want to stay outside of Atlanta anyway. But we need to lock that down sooner than later. Lock what down? Letting everybody the know? Guest the, guest, the guest list that we're willing to pay for. So they can get rooms. We ain't paying for their hotel. No, we're not. Just want to let all my family know that. If you're listening to this family, <laughs> you better pull out them wallets. Get that plastic a moving because you're going to be paying for that shit your goddamn self. You hear me? Grandma? <laughs> Just kidding. My grandma's dead. I know. That's awful. <laughs> <laughs> J backslash K. Oh. I understand that we need a list. I just don't understand the mad rush for one. That's my, that's where I'm coming from. Because every practical, I know that we need one. And I know that you have a clock ticking in your head that is only getting louder every second. And we don't have a list. I just don't, uh, every practical reason, I, it can be solved by other means. We can just let everybody know that this is a thing. This is a public wedding. Right now, what Ashley is doing is just touching various parts of her face in anger. She's just she's raising her hands and putting it on her cheeks and then putting it back on her hips as if this is the way to symbolize <laughs> raising rage. 
I just realized like the whole purpose of doing this live is so I can't yell at you. You are just, she was just doing like as if she were doing the uh, uh, like head, shoulders, knees and toes stance where she's just touching parts of her body over and over again. (laughs) That's what she's doing to signify how angry she is with me right now. That's because you plan everything one month in advance. And I want to get rolling on this before the holidays. We are like nine years ahead of schedule. Have you have you ever planned a large scale event? Uh, yeah, it's my job. How many people? Raise your hand if you uh, okay. have you planned and executed an event for seven hundred people last week. Uh oh, only one person's got their okay. hand up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how many uh, places did you have to book personally? To make that event happen? How many venues? How many venues for your uh, your game of 700 people? That's a sign of me sheepishly putting my hand down. <laughs> zero. Zero. I've booked zeros, zero venues. So think of it this way. Yeah. You're buying your loving, kind, sweet, gentle, giving Sauerkraut hoovering. (laughs) Fiance. (laughs) Face in anger touching. (laughs) Sanity. You're buying my sanity. Yeah. By getting this list out of the way. See? Don't you love me? This is not what you were trying to sell this as, as an end to fighting. This is only the beginning. The beginning to fighting. Because now we, but I don't even know why we need to fight about it. Uh, for one, you're the one that decided that we were fighting about it, which is part of the reason you've been putting off creating a list. No. For- <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you think I've been delaying a list? Uh, because every time I say that we're going to talk about it, you kick it back a week. You're like, oh no, that's okay. We'll, we'll just do that. We'll just do that next week. We'll we'll talk about these other things. What do you want to know? Why? I mean, here's the reason why I've been delaying it. Because. When you write a contract, if you are a lawyer and you are writing a contract, you very rarely write it from scratch. It's not like a blank page and then lawyers just write out terms. You have what's called boilerplate, things that are are pure and have legally proved themselves to be sound in previous contracts that you just copy paste into the new contract. And then you specify things that are very specific to what that contract is about. Okay? You know... Many wedding websites, wedding planning websites have done the exact same thing. And guess how much earlier than we've started on the booking venue portion. We already have a venue. Let me finish my point. My point is that for my list, my brother just got married last year. Mm -hmm. I, I have in my hands a boilerplate or I could have a boilerplate of pretty much all the family, all the core family. I just got to go ahead and delete it, delete all of his friends that I'm not friends with. We're, we have a shared pool of friends that came to his wedding. I get to keep those. And then I just add other people that I know that he doesn't know that we're going to invite to the wedding. It's very, very, very fast. And I have that list. I know. I had been asking because Eric be- for it Because for weeks. his wife texted yeah. me to let me know that it was sent to you. Yes. And now you are not allowed to delay any further. I'm not I'm not going to delay any further. I got mm. the list. I just need to add a few people to it and we're good to go. Where's your list? I have oh. mine. I basically oh. have mine. Ba- basically, see what had happened was, <laughs> see what had happened was I was about to have a list and then see, you know, ancestry.com was all like No, ancestry.com is my list. Bull I just have to look shit. because I guarantee my Don't list is shorter come- than yours. My mom, my dad, my siblings, my grandparents and my aunts and uncles. Done. Nobody from the skeptic community. Well, I was talking about family list because that's what the breakfast is for, right? Oh, because yeah. You then the the, family, you then we the got one. the family list already done. Boom. No, we don't. It's, already it's done. not in my Excel sheet. Oh, okay. I'll just forward you the stuff from, uh, mm. from Carolina and you can just take care of that. Mm. You can just go ahead and Excel it up. You're going to Excel at that sheet. You're going to do great. I hate you. I love you. I love you. Maybe. I'm um, not convinced we're avoiding a fight, by the way. I still think the fight is coming. Okay. Well, 
Because you're going to get really, gloves. you're going to get really, we're going to get into a fight about the number of people we're paying. That's my prediction. Put it in a sealed envelope and lock it in a vault. There's going to be a fight. You're that down, chat room? Based on how many people are going to be at the breakfast. How many people do you think are going to be at the breakfast? Well, and this is why we need to come up with a list. How much of the breakfast do we want to be family yeah. versus friends? I think it's for family. Like, because this is where we, where, where the family that comes out for whom Dragon Con is a big ask, they have no interest in going to experience the rest of Dragon Con. They're literally just there for us. That this is their chance to get FaceTime with us, to that, that, that they can do what would normally happen at a regular reception, uh, but, but better, you know, because they'll actually get to talk to us and we'll actually be able to just, you know, walk around the table and, and, and shoot the poop with everybody. Yeah. So I think it's only family. Do you think it should be more than just family? If there are friends that are coming for only the reason of coming to the wedding. But our friends are going to be out, you know, like they're going to have a good time. Not, they're going to hang with party. us. Not anyone that's in my wedding party. Who's in your wedding party that's not your family? Lisa. Christina. Okay. Christina's going to be out with us. Yeah, but she wouldn't be at Dragon Con otherwise. Sure. But I, I guess all I'm saying is that we're going to get FaceTime with them during the evening stuff. Well, here. Anyway. Let's not, let, let, let's not get too in the weeds because I feel like the meta arguments are funny. The very specific arguments are not interesting to anybody. But we will keep you guys up to date on this. I want everybody to uh, – let's go ahead and get a straw poll going here on whether or not we're going to fight about the number of people invited to breakfast. I feel like that's going to be the throughput that people are going to be very interested to find out the next time they tune into this podcast on whether you know, or not we fought about the number. I, I think I know what will cause the fight if we're going to fight about it. What? Um, and that's – whether or not we would have to get a reception hall to do the breakfast. We're not. Do you think we will? This fight is already Be happening. Because I have it's a feeling that your number. RonPaul.gif. We're not fighting yet. No, it might be. This is what RonPaul.gif is that a thing? Yeah, you never heard that. No. RonPaul.gif. Oh. Let me just go ahead and hit you up like this. Boom. I'm just gonna type this one in here. RonPaul.gif. Well. There we go. <laughs> Does it say that it's happening? Oh, it's happening. It's happening. He's so happy. Look at that. That's <laughs> the happiest Ron Paul I've ever he's, seen. He's going nuts. It's There's happening. There's like lasers behind him for those of you who haven't seen it. If you've it. never seen Ron Paul dot gif, oh, it's, oh, it's happening dot gif. It's happening dot gif. Yeah. There we go. Let's see if that's it's happening. He looks really cute in that. Like a cute little old man. Oh, there we go. Yeah, no, that's the better search is it's happening. Anyway, uh, that's that. So there we go. The straw poll is up right now. Strawpoll.me slash 3014373. Are we going to fight about the breakfast? And I'm going to vote yes. Early money's on yes, sweetheart. Early money's on yes. I'm going to try to avoid it because I don't want to get into a fight. I just think we're going to get into a fight I think about breakfast. I think that you're going to want to get into a fight, but I don't need to fight because I'm going to be the winner. Me? <laughs> Me? Huh? I don't ever get huh? into fights. When do I get into fights? I don't uh. pick fights. Do I? Do I pick fights? Uh, you get like passive aggressive. So it's not like it's not like you're actually trying to fight, but you're just kind <laughs> of like pretending you're not upset about something but then you your body language and like the things you do are obviously very like rage salty filled and, and angry yes, yes yeah that's a good point that's a good point so i think you'll start it uh all right what are you pointing at oh i i thought my levels were way low oh you can always move it up Boop. okay you want to get into questions sure let's do questions all right uh, which one do you want to do the do, do the name first. one first? This one yeah. comes in from Stephanie. Stephanie and Jason, congratulations to you uh, and Ashley on your engagement. My fiance and I have been going back and forth about what to do with our last names, and we thought we should ask you since this may be something you and Ashley have given a lot of thought to recently. My original plan was to hyphenate my last name, but that seems long and cumbersome, and I'd probably end up only using my fiance's last name legally. 
I'm going to have my PhD by the time we get married, so professionally speaking, it'd be easier to keep my own name in some way. His last name is Martin, and he likes to complain that it's too common. My last name is DeVito, which is less common. Recently, I've been suggested that he change his last name so our future children's name would be more unique. Opinions, Dr. DeVito, Dr. Martin, or some combination thereof. Thanks and love the jury show. Well, uh, I am the future Ashley uh, Paramore Anzalone Young. Uh, that's not happening. Well, no, not the Anzalone doesn't go to you. The Anzalone doesn't go to you because the Anzalone is only for me because it was my mom's maiden name. Then what's the point in taking the Anzalone if you're not going to keep it? Because that's what, in whatever weird tradition my family had, that's what happened. Like, you, so... If we were to have kids, it would be Bleep Blorp, Young Paramore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so you don't you you would just get young, but I, I think we've talked about this before. Yeah. So on on my half of things, I was actually married once when I was stupid and nineteen, and I actually took my ex's last name. Yeah. Um. And not so that's only something that I feel like people don't know about, but but I mean, yeah. we, we can, that's a whole thing for another podcast. But yeah, like, but, but yeah, but I took his last name and then when we divorced, I changed my name back. Yeah. And it was a pain in the ass doing it both ways. It, it is a, such it a pain to change it. I, I still get mail for years now uh, that still has, you know, his last name is my yeah. last name. Like it just doesn't go away. Um, but it's a huge and for the record. I'm not going to say the last name. Downgrade. Downgrade from Oh, Paramore. it was. It was a downgrade. Paramore's a way better last way name. Way better last name. Yeah. Um, Dick and but, Butts. That was <laughs> the last name. <laughs> you were you were very briefly Ashley Dick and Butts. Ashley Dick and Butts. <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, it was really embarrassing. And then you uh, went back to Paramore. It was a yep. good change. Yep. A good change. It, it was. Um, but... We've we've had this conversation. I'm not changing my last name. No. And neither are you. Neither am I. Because um, we have solid last names. Yes. We have very solid last names. And to a certain degree, too, and I think this holds true for uh, Dr. DeVito, uh, or future Dr. DeVito, is that you and I both, in a way, have been have had our online personalities and personas and brands that we built upon. Yeah. And it's what everybody knows us by. Yeah. Um, so if I were to change it in some way or you were to change it, that kind of makes things more difficult from a branding perspective. But not that um, uh, DeVito here, I, I can't see her name, Stephanie. Stephanie. Not, that, not that Stephanie here is worried about necessarily internet branding but if she's going for her phd and she's publishing stuff you know yeah i would i would be apt to keep the name well there's also they are focused on kids so they are like like what she is saying is that for, for him to change the name she views that as also our kids will take will definitely take this name the devito name as opposed to the martin name which, yeah I think is an interesting way to look at it. Uh, here's here's my point. Uh, I, I am fully, my, my hard and fast rule on this is change the name if it's an upgrade. I don't feel like DeVito is upgraded by making it Martin. DeVito, I mean, number one, it's a very good Italian name. A lot of people like the Italian names. I, I, I rock the Justin Robert Young Anzalone. I like Anzalone. Anzalone. It sounds nice. And you want to flex that ethnic heritage whenever you can. Says the... the uh, number one. Ashley is looking at me scancy pants right now. As not but five seconds before she was shoveling, shoveling sauerkraut <laughs> into, her mouth, no. uh, into her mouth. Uh, just uh, so we're not feeling ethnic stereotypes. However... To her point that the her husband should change his name to DeVito, I think it really depends on what he does for a living. Because if Martin, if Mr. Martin right now is a professor at the Women's Studies Department of Syracuse University, 
then taking the DeVito name, perfectly fine. If he is somebody who does his own kind of thing, that's fine. The dude works at a construction site. It's got to be really rough for him taking his wife's name, showing up and saying, no, 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 it's now it's DeVito on my checks. It's going to be hard. It's going to be a difficult, the world was not built to handle it. Not to say that it shouldn't happen. It's just going to take effort to do where it would not otherwise. The, the world is socialized, for better or for worse, that women change their names and men don't. So that's my thought on it. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I, I completely agree with that. And I think that, um, I don't know, the, the, whole, the whole name change. Unless his, people are pointing out in the chat room, Mitzilla's pointing out in the chat room, unless his name is Danny Martin, in that case, he would become Danny DeVito. And that's the best change ever. <laughs> Everybody would understand it. You could have the most knuckleheaded construction site ever. And if they came back and said, yeah, I, I got married. I took my wife's name. And they'd be like, oh, pussy. And they'd be like, yeah, now I'm Danny DeVito. Ah! It would be the <laughs> biggest pop ever. Oh, my goodness. I, I, I do think the whole like name changing thing is like just super dated with like old ownership you know, stuff. Sure. But do do what you want. Do what you want. No, Cha- no, you can no, change no. it. She's, not, change she's it. not emailing in, so so we need to give her a hard advice. She's not emailing in so we can give her the same problem she was struggling with before she wrote into us. I'm saying keep both your names. Don't worry about it. And then figure out what the kid's name is going to be when you have the or kid. Or hyphenate the kid's names. Yeah. I mean, it works for me. I, I just go with one. I go with the one I like. Oh, oh, punt that on the kid. Make the kid choose what yep. his last name is. Yep. Who do you like better, mommy or daddy? <laughs> oh, man. This is the most high stakes game of parenting ever. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. When you, tur- when you turn 18 or for your, uh, what, your, your bat mitzvah. Well, I don't think that. I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't know if, we, if if the Martin DeVito bar mitzvah is something that's ever happened. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> I think you usually have different names on the bar and bat mitzvahs. I'm sorry. Uh, all right. So there we go. That's that. That's Stephanie. Thank you. Uh, of course, everybody, you can write in. JustinRobertYoung at gmail.com. Just make sure you put Jury Moore in the subject line that is J-U-R-Y-M-O-R-E, which is the combination of both of our names since we're talking about names. Yay. So not only do we do... Wedding questions. We also do just relationship questions. Mm-hmm. And this one is in, uh, in, in relation to our relationship. It is. And this one is from Jeff. And Jeff writes, I'm not sure this is appropriate for the show, but I like to hear about what convinced Ashley to move away from her life to be with Justin. I'm potentially in a similar situation. Uh, one of us or both of us is giving up seeing friends and close relationships and moving to be together. From Jeff in the SLC. Oh, man. So he lives in Salt Lake City. Yeah. Number one, Jeff, if if you're trying to, if one of you is trying to convince the other one to move to somewhere in that region that's not Salt Lake City, that's a deal breaker. It's like names. You got to upgrade. You got to, you got to, you got to upgrade your, your place unless it's like, a, a, a totally dependent, a location dependent situation where it's like you're going to school, you're, it's like a very important job. If, if you are making a general life decision, you got to you gotta be moving somewhere cool. You got to be moving up at least the ladder. It's all like city's rad, but it's about as rad as that region gets. Well, and that's kind of like us. You know, you obviously didn't want to move to Ohio. No. And good God, I don't want to move to Florida. That's a downgrade from Ohio. But, not true. But. It's also not true. Take it back. No, Take it back. I'm not taking it back. How many beaches does Ohio have? One. Don't lie. Don't call some it's a lake dirty. Beach. Don't call it's some filthy beach. puddle a beach. That's not a beach. It's where water has yet to evaporate. Okay, mm. a beach is where an ocean is, and more specifically, a beach is where a warm I ocean exists. I love trolling him on this. So it's just much. no. It's just a lie. So it's a filthy much. lie, and I need you to take it back. Fine. I'm touching my face. I'm touching my <laughs> face. All right, let's go. Let's go ahead. So we, we were at loggerheads on and, and, and it was a thing. And, and we, we decided that we're going to kind of sp- spread out our origin story over a few episodes when we, where we don't have any like topical things to talk about. But 
we were at loggerheads on ever living in one of our respective cities, be it Columbus or Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Both of which are better than any place outside of, in Utah, outside of Salt Lake City, for the record. So, um, eventually, I guess the thing is, is that you, you made a move first, and that was really for us a make or break point. Yeah. Um, and I don't know how, how much to talk about this without getting into story, but like for me, I was ready to do new things job wise. And, you know, it, I guess I really didn't have anything and maybe this is the the case for, for him, but like, I didn't really have anything holding me down to the location except for friends and family. But even then I've been to enough nerd conventions. I can meet new strangers. It's fine. I'll meet new people. Um, like you, had, was, you had a very tight circle there, though. Like uh, you, you hung out with your roommates, and and you had you had a support system there that was like a, a daily kind of stuff. You guys like played board games every week. There was certainly a pattern that you had to leave. That I don't think a lot of you know that that people are lucky to have to have that kind of peer group support system. I mean, sure, but I guess. For me, in a lot of ways, it was a what do I have have to lose by moving? You know, I was looking at leaving my job anyway. Yeah. I, I obviously wanted to be in a relationship with you. Yes. And so it's well, like, I think we you were know, in a relationship. Well, we wanted to continue. No, and this is something we'll get into. But you moving here was a very was a we were we were if we were a plane. We were coming to the end of our runway and either we were going to fly or we were going to go over the cliff. And it was really at that breaking point that I got the gig out here. It became a possibility for you to move out here. And that was something that you were way more into than moving to Florida. Because the Bay Area is awesome. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was a what... What do I have to lose in this situation, really? Because I can always move back to Ohio. Like, if things don't work, I can always always move back. It's always going to be there, unfortunately. (laughs) Ohio's not that bad. Come on. I love trolling her about this. Oh, my God. (laughs) Uh, Whatever. Shut up. You love Columbus now. I do. I do Um, love Columbus. I was actually telling one of my uh, coworkers at at the Go Game about the 18-bit bar. Which, by the way, they just opened up one in Cleveland. The same place? Yeah, same same huh. franchise or same company. They now they have one in. Uh, look in, at in you, Cleveland. Ohio guy. I, I had to look up. You know I had to look Ohio. up the address for my for my friend at the Go Game. So uh, or a sixteen bit, not eight, not eighteen bit. I mean, if we got both sixteen Rich, bit bar, you, you know, we could park it on the lake. The boats don't live on lakes. Just saying, it's a that's, nice lake. That's a gross, disgusting it's a nice lake. It doesn't catch on fire anymore. That's great. Oh, God. <laughs> Didn't you get a staph infection swimming in a lake in Ohio? I mean, it may or may not have been Lake Erie. That's so gross. <laughs> That's so disgusting. Oh, God. Just a filthy little Petri dish where all these filthy Ohioans just like like wash. No wonder it lights on fire. Ugh. Anyway. Not anymore. So what what are the pros and cons that you had to that you had to to weigh in in making the decision because you made the decision very very quickly well the the hardest part um was the job element because i didn't want to move out without a job and you and i actually had extensive conversations about making sure we could make things work out cuz it I was looking for, I think, four months or something and had no bites from Ohio until I started putting a California address on things. So, yeah, we we had I mean, we we made a decision that you wanted to move out and then you were looking for jobs with zero success and came out here a couple times uh, to just sort of use it as interview time you yeah. know, where you could like go on interviews and you would try to schedule interviews for it. That didn't work. And at some point you just. We needed to make the decision that even though it wasn't perfect, you were going to come out and let's do it. Yeah. Um, and I had a little bit saved up to at least pay my own bills while I, yeah. while I was looking. But, but you didn't want to rely on no man. I didn't know. No. So, I mean, a con was also that we didn't know how we were going to be together. We, we had never lived together. We had never really spent more than two weeks with each other. Yeah. 
Like it could have gotten to two weeks in one day and you would have realized that I'm a werewolf. I mean, what? A werewolf. What? Yeah. Oh. Where do you think this beard comes from? I mean, it explained the tale too. <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, yeah. So I don't. I don't know. The job thing was hard for me. Like it was less hard for me to just make the move with new friends and stuff. Keep going. And, and go. Um. Oh, so that's the problem. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, technical difficulties, guys. Um, so yeah, the leaving friends and family thing wasn't hard for me. It was just making the jump, knowing that I wasn't going to run out of money and put myself more into debt. And, you know, I mean, I was pretty, I was obviously comfortable enough with you to move across the country. Yeah. So. It was a safe bet. Yes. Still a bet. It was, it was a, a bet. safe bet. What are the rules? Can we give uh, can we give any kind of just guidance or rules without knowing their situation? Like any kind of general just best practices when looking at something like that? Like like what takes precedent? Like if 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 I got an an amazing job somewhere not in the Bay Area, like let's say it was somewhere in Kearns, Utah, right? Is that where more, your grandfather was? Yeah. How much okay. more difficult? Would it have been for you to move out? Well, knowing that your grandfather possibly killed a man, I don't know that I wouldn't want to move to Kearns. God damn it. Let's seriously, if family's going to listen to this, like they are going to be, there's members of my family that will be like really upset if we start talking about my grandfather. Oh, sorry, guys. It's fine. Um, Anyway, bad Uh, city to pick. Scratch that. Okay. Take two. So what, um... I mean, like, how much harder would it be if it was if it was not a rad, a super rad like area that you wanted to move to or would have wanted to move to anyway? You know, uh, I guess the Bay, it being the Bay Area and knowing that I wanted to move, like, live in California was one of the places on my bucket list. The Bay Area specifically that made it incredibly easy. Yeah. If it was Sioux Falls. Yeah. If it was Kearns, Utah. If it was. Now I, let's let's also assume in this that I'm making. Like insane money because I wouldn't move to these cities unless I was like it was going to be something where I could make it like, crazy cash. Right. So I'm doing. Two hundred thousand dollars a year and uh, we can because it's Sioux Falls, we can live there for five cents. I mean, that's that's hard to say. I mean, I you know, think we'd be chilling in the manse. Uh, we'd just be living in a big fat house. Yeah. Uh. But then, like, making new friends in Sioux Falls. We had to make new friends out here. Yeah, I guess, uh, see, that that's tough for me because since I worked in big atheism for so long, you know, worrying about going to small town, uh, conservative area would you have, you make have PTSD. me nervous. You have PTSD for small town, conservative oh area. Oh, my God. Yes. Keep keep me keep me in my, my big lib, my big lib cities. Yeah. yeah. Fort Lauderdale. It's a very liberal county. Mm. It is. Mm. It is. It's very liberal. Except for feeding homeless people. That, then that, then you get arrested. Then you get arrested. Uh What about I, you? What 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 would your rules be? Because I've really I I'm struggling for advice on this other than, you know, you can always move back. Like that's it's, it's hard. It's hard for me because I have always kind of moved for the opportunities, but the opportunities have never necessarily been romantic. You know, like there was part of the reason, part of the reason why I took this job was because I kind of knew that something had to happen with us. You know, there were a lot of reasons why, why I did, why I took the job in in San Francisco, but one of them was, this is pretty much the only way that like it, it goes forward with Ashley. Because there was only going to be so long it was going to work as a long distance thing. No matter how much it was just kind of impossible for, for us to kind of keep just being interested in each other. It, it was going to hit an end, you know, eventually if, if we were just there. So that was a part of it. But I, I don't know if I've ever been put in a situation where, you know, it would be it would be a big question mark if like I was doing this and then you got a call from... 
let's say like the ACLU or something like that. It's a massive nonprofit in like New York or Chicago. And it was the job of a lifetime for you. You would be dumb to turn it down. I think it would be something that would be very strange for me because I, I don't think I've ever, I've always been the tide maker. You know, I've, I've, I've very rarely in my life been swept in, in the tide on major like life decision stuff like that. Yeah. So it would be hard. I wouldn't, I'm not going to lie, man. Like, I don't know how I would handle what it. If I think I, would handle I was it making $200,000 a year in Wyoming, Cheyenne, Wyoming, $200,000 a year. Uh, we could do that. We we could do that. Too. We could just work harder. <laughs> 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 I think it would have to be like half a mil a year to live in, in some, you know, and pardon my friends because I know everybody lives everywhere and everybody thinks everything is nice, but a butthole like Cheyenne, Wyoming. It's got snow. I hate snow. I know. Snow sucks. That's why we live in California. And yet we have to go back to Ohio for Christmas. I know. They got snow today. They got dumped on. Uh, uh, now rewind that back 30 seconds. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Let's wrap it up. Uh, six inches in Ohio today. Oh, my God. Do me a favor. Hand me your hand me your iPhone. Oh, let's I just... thought you were pointing at my sauerkraut. No, it's not. not. What's the weather in Davie, Florida? Here's the weather for Davie. 75 degrees right now a crisp 75 degrees mm. and by the time that we get to thanksgiving next week it will be 75 degrees huh what's the weather in mansfield ohio Here's the weather for Mansfield, Ohio, through November 28th, 2014. All right. So uh, how many degrees different than the 75 of Davy? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it, 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 if it's really, really cold, it's probably around like what? 40? 41? It's 12 right now. 12 o'clock? No, it's not. It's earlier than 12. It's like 9, 9.46. Yeah. 12 what? It's not 12. 12 what? <laughs> degrees. What? It gets that cold? I swear to God, if you would have ever asked me to, to move to Columbus, like seriously, we would have broken up. This mm. podcast would never happen. Mm. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. All right. Uh, if you want to write us, it is justinrobertyoung at gmail.com. Make sure you put J-U-R-Y-M-O-R-E in the subject line. Uh, thank you to everybody watching live. You guys are the only ones who are listening to this because we have yet to set up an RSS feed. Eventually, we're going to have an RSS feed, and eventually people are going to be able to podcast this. But for right now, thank you to everybody. You can go ahead and uh, watch us live on DiamondClub.tv. We're going to try and do this Mondays at 8 p.m. Pacific time. That is 11 p.m. Eastern time. you have any uh, final parting words? I'm Ashley Paramore. Where can people find you? Healthy Addict on the Twitter and the YouTube. Mm. And uh, do you have any? I mean, I feel like you should give one piece mm. of parting wisdom since you are you are the uh, the, the the knowledgeable one, the smart one, the level headed yeah. one in this pair. No, I got it. So is this like the sign off? Yeah. Okay. Everyone, just remember. Happy life, happy life. Make your list. I'm going to make my list. Make my list of people that... I don't know. This ending could have been better. Thank you. Done, Carl. Yeah, uh, I don't even want to look at this. This is the Mo Dragons Mo Problems. Um, 
It's not a choose your own adventure. It's not a twist a plot. It's a clench a butt. Um, that's amazing. And I don't even want to look at it. Uh, Carl, you're you, you the man now, dog. That's all I got to say about that. Uh, all right, so I got to do a lot of other work. Um, and we've got to go fight about lists. And we got to fight about lists at some point. Um, I love you guys. Thank you very much. Bye. We'll Bye. have a RSS feed someday. <laughs>